Hi friends, I want to talk with you today about the use and care of your templates. Um, so the first thing is that you will get them um, when you get the package. It will have in it your um, the cover sheet. It has a use and care packet in it. It also has a little chain for you to hook them together um, and then you'll get the templates. Some of them have three, some of them have four. When you are getting these ready to use, don't do it around a project because sometimes the edges here where the a laser cutter cut, leave a burnt edge, and you can get ash and black on it. Okay. So the next trick will be getting this paper off. Okay, so the easiest way to get them off is with Gorilla Tape. When you put the Gorilla Tape on, you can put it on, kind of rub it down, and then always pull towards the center of the project. Um, just keep rubbing it and being persistent, and it'll start to pull off pieces of it. Don't ever go the opposite direction. Always come to the middle. There we go. Um, when you're like, the radii are the hardest because they have so many little separate pieces, but if you keep tacking it down and pulling it back and tacking it down and pulling it back, you'll get all the pieces off. Don't pull it, once you get to the middle, pull the opposite direction. If you pull this direction, I've had people who have pulled um, up on this part right here and just broken their te template like that. I brought this one to break. Um, so be careful that you're pulling always to the middle. That won't be an issue at all on your square ones. That's just an issue on the radii. But it is the same method for getting the template um, backing off of the bigger ones. I like to start up here in a corner because I think that's easiest. And then these will come off in almost one piece. They're not hard to get off at all. The tricky part is you'll have trouble getting out of some of the insides of these little letters, but if you'll just go back with your um, tape and snag them, if, as you press down, you'll get all the little O's out and the little shape out of the out of Eleanor the sheep. There's another method you can use if you don't want to use the uh, Gorilla Tape. You can also... Um, wet them and I didn't this one has been soaking at home wet them and then use a soft brush like a fingernail brush or an old toothbrush because the you leave them in the water and I used soap when I did this one um, then the paper on it starts to deteriorate as you're scrubbing it with the water and the soap and so it'll make it so that you can peel it off and the third method that is not listed in your um in the instructions because it can leave marks is just to use a pin or a needle and kind of get your get it underneath and that'll get you a loose edge so that you can pull on it and get it off. The reason that this one's not recommended is because it's possible for whatever tool you use to leave a scrape mark on your clear template there possible, not necessarily likely, depends on what you use, but that's also an easy way to take all those pieces off is to go ahead and, and pull it with a thread or a needle. Okay, they need to be cleaned. Um, when they need to be cleaned, they need to be cleaned with warm water and or a gentle soap like Dawn. Um, don't use alcohol wipes on them or an alcohol cleaner for it. If you have a glass cleaner that has alcohol in it, you don't want to use those because that can make them brittle and then they will break easier. Um, Let's see, uh, I've tried, I tested them, I threw them at the walls, I dropped them to see if they would break. They don't usually break, they're pretty durable. But my favorite thing about them is that they are thin enough that you can use um, almost whatever pen you want, obviously not a thick marker, but you don't need a, you don't need the um, triple, I can't remember what the, the Soline Trio, you don't need the Trio because um, these are, the holes are big enough that the, the tip of the regular one can go in, but also they're big enough that the tip of the Choco can go in. So you can do all of the marking that you need to with them. And that's why they are the thickness they are, but they're still durable. Now, if you um, sit them on something, it's possible to break them. You watched me break that one, but they mine have held up great. So that is how you take care of them.